Hello, this is Mr. Doty, and uh, I'm going to go over one of the drawings in, in our SolidWorks class that some of you guys may be having issues with. Uh, the picture in the book is not real awesome as far as giving you a, some of the dimensions or giving you some helpful hints on how to draw it. So uh, I have a PDF file that, has, that I attached, and uh, I will drag it over here so you can see it. I have this attached to the assignment link so if you want to download that you can at least you know get an idea of kinda of what it looks like from the top, the front, and the right side view and then I have the isometric that kinda of shows hidden lines and then I've got some you know little notes on there for some of the angles that may not be listed on the drawing. Okay so that's what we're gonna draw so what do I need to do first? First thing I need to do is I need to start a new drawing. And you may have yours set up under Novice, so yours may come up like this. You just pick on Part, hit OK. And we're going to start out here. Uh, the first thing I want to do, obviously, is going to make a sketch. And where do I want to make it? Well, let's see. I am going to make it on the front plane. Because what I want to do is I want to draw this view right here a sketch of this shape and uh, I'll put the hole in it uh, you the hidden lines won't be there obviously and this little line won't be right there but the outline like here is what I need that's what I'm gonna draw okay so uh, I'm gonna pick front plane and I didn't pick it, so I'm going to pick front plane, and I'm going to hit sketch. Here we go. Sorry, I forgot to hit 2D sketch. Okay, so now I'm in sketch, so I'm ready to go. One of the things you got to remember, makes life a lot easier, if you will, this is our origin, draw off of your origin, okay? So it's a sketch, so I'm going to draw a line over, I'm going to draw a line up, I'm going to draw a line approximately the angle I need. And I'm going to draw it over and see it gives me the little O oh snap thing so that I can kind of snap to and line up with existing geometry. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to hit escape. So there's that. Notice this is black. That means that it is defined because it is related to, and actually this guy's black too, because they are aligned with the origin makes life a lot easier if you can do something to line up your drawing or I'm sorry your part with the origin it makes life a lot easier and it will be fully defined if you do that okay so the next thing I need to do is I need to do some dimensioning so the first dimension I put on here is going to help scale my part and this thing is metric well, guess what I did wrong? I didn't chain, I didn't check to see if I had drawn my stuff in metric. So, what do I need to do? I need to go down here to the bottom and I need to change it to millimeters. So, there we go. All right, that closed out my sketch. That's fine. Let's go back and edit our sketch. So, I just pick, left click, and I'm back in my sketch now. Now we can go in and put in some dimensions on it. There we go. Now we're in metric. Uh, that needs to be 250. So now it scaled everything else up. Uh, the overall height, I'm going to pick these two lines here. And that is 120. And then uh, let's see. So we've got the height, the width. Uh, over this top piece here is actually 90. And they don't tell us how tall this piece is here, but they do tell it. Well, and they don't tell you the angle of this either. But guess what? I figured it out. It's 30 degrees, so there you go. And that's where, see, I have that on there. So if you look at this, can't really see it very well, maybe. But you can see that I'm drawing that shape. 
Okay, so now I need uh, this dimension here is 35. Uh, this dimension is, uh oh, there we go. That's 20, 30, and now it looks like if I zoom up, oh shoot. Remember, you have to hold down control if you want to pan. I always forget. Uh, looks like I have it, so I'm just going to turn it by holding down the scroll button. And I'm going to finish out my sketch. And now, what's the next thing we want to do? We want to extrude it. Didn't pick anything. Well, that's okay. This is a good example of what happens when things don't pick. You pick your sketch that you want to extrude and hopefully it decides that it wants to work with you. I am going to reverse the direction so that it goes away from me and I need to figure out how deep it is. It says it's 175 deep. Whoa. Okay, come here. Alright, so what that means is from here to here is 175. Okay, so what do I need to do? Set this to 175 and we'll be good. Uh, that. I don't need that. 175. Hit this. Hit the little thing again. And there we go. So now we've got our block. I forgot to put the hole in it. Well, here's a good example of what do you do when you forget to put something in a sketch. And you're saying, well, why don't you just sketch right on here, put the hole in there, and you're done. Well, yeah, I could do that, but let's, let's simplify our drawing. The other thing is, is if you wanted to use the hole wizard, um, and sometimes uh, some people will say that that's a better way to, to draw your, um, to create your model, is by going up here to the hole wizard. Uh-oh. It doesn't like that. Well, let's try that again. Okay, apparently my whole wizard doesn't work. Don't know why. I guess I will have to fix it. Well, in that case, I can't use my whole wizard, so guess what we're going to do? I'm going to open this up in our tree over here. Click on here. I want to edit my sketch. And I guess since my whole wizard doesn't work, I'm going to have to put a circle in over here. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm going to have to figure it out. All right, so I need the dimension off of there. So it is 50. And from there to there. Is 25 and the hole itself has a diameter of 20. See that little circle right there with a the slash through it? That's diameter, just in case you didn't know. Okay, notice it's black, we're good. So hopefully, when I do this, hey, there it is, there's my hole. Okay, next thing I want to do, I need to put a hole in it up here. So I need to make another sketch, right? Sketch, sketch top. Um, something handy is if you hit your space bar and you click on this little guy right here, once you've told it that you you pick a surface that you want to mess with, um, and then it'll go normal to that surface so that you're looking at it. it. makes life a lot easier when you are trying to draw stuff. And I don't know why I did that, but that's okay. Smart dimension. Some days you ever feel like you just don't have any idea what you're doing or why it decides it wants to do what it wants to do. Okay, that distance is 25. And then I need to come over here and pick a distance here. That appears to be 40. And uh, this is 20. I already did that. So, ah, well, it's black, so that tells me I'm in pretty good shape. Okay, so there's that and go to feature this time I want to do a cut last time we did an extruded boss this time we want to do an extruded cut it already knows what I want see 
Uh, it says blind, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick through all so that it goes through the whole thing. There, oh yeah, there we go. All right. So now we need this slot that's cut here, and we need this angle. Um, these are going to be two separate operations. Um, so notice we've got this hole. We've got this shape. So now I need this slot cut up here, right here. And what I want to do is I want to go from the back side back here. And um, move this out of the way. So what I want to do is I want to do a sketch, sketch. I'm going to pick that surface. I'm going to hit my space bar and do this. Now I can also get to it right here. Does the same thing. Uh, I like using space bars. Kind of nice. All right. So what do I need? I need a rectangle. Now you're saying, why do you not have that lined up? I have found when working with these things that sometimes it doesn't cut everything all the way I want. So um, yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, I, I'll overlap them sometimes so that I make sure that it cuts all the way through uh, let's see 50 and then 75 this is, ooh, shoot. so what happens when you have really big fingers and 75 where you get in a hurry I'm trying not to make this too long and okay so I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to grab my line I'm going to drag him back up there we go and you're saying why do you not have a dimension on that well you know what sometimes you don't have to trust me on this now I'm going to use my middle button scroll mouse button and uh, I need to do a cut so I'm going to feature so I just dragged it around where I can see it you know when I'm drawing I like to look at what I'm, you know, so it's true shape and size. But then whenever I'm extruding, I want to see where it's going to make sure it works. Okay, so I need to do an extruded cut. Aha. And then it's got blind. You know, sometimes you need to look at things and like maybe through all or um, through all both ways, up to a surface, up to a vertex, offset, you know, because if you come back later and you're trying to edit something, what you did with this cut might affect something you do over here. In this case, I think I'm okay. I'm going to roll it around a little bit and make sure. So, yeah. Let's see if I were to change this to through all, then it would go all the way to the end. If I go up to next, then it just goes to there. If I go to up to a surface, then I can pick that surface. So up to next, I like that. It looks good, so I'm just going to do this. And then when I pick off of it, my sketch goes away. So I am in pretty good shape. Okay, so now I need an, I need an angle cut on this side going that way, right? So what do I want to do? I want to sketch and I'm going to sketch off the top or I can sketch off the bottom. I'm going to sketch off the top so I don't get lost. And uh, I'm going to hit my space bar just like I've been doing. Let's try this again. Sketch, sketch, top piece. Uh, I'm already looking at it so I don't have to hit my space bar and hit that. Uh, let's do a line. I'm not going to draw it on there, but I do want it to be on this line. So I'm going to pick that. And then I'm going to draw this back over here. To here, to here, to here. I know it's kind of interesting how I'm doing this, but that's okay. Or maybe I'll just do that endpoint and that point, and maybe it'll work. 
All right, so 75. There's that. This angle to here is 30. All right, so now I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to drag this guy out to here. And again, you're saying, why are you overlapping? I want to make sure it cuts it because I've had issues before where if it's right on the line, it leaves a little sliver. You never know. So this way, I make sure that it cuts it off the way I want. All right, so I've got my 75, I've got my 30, that takes care of everything. I click on this, I do a cut, extruded cut, and it is going blind. I'm going to go to next. It's going to cut down to there. And let's do this. There you go. Okay, there's your part. Does that look like the drawing in the book? I hope so, because it is. There it is. I hope this helps. Thank you much.